Alright, let's talk to him. Biff, Biff, Biff. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh, well then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. Dreams aren't really important. I'll keep looking okay. around. Thanks, Art. Dad. Or his guitar. Hey, Dad. Why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. All right. So this is how we do stuff. Hmm. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, uh. Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> you're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> wow. That was sizzling hot! Like a melted ice cube. Huh. Let's make some noise. Alright, I think I wanna make Biff play and get himself like knocked over or something. Alright, what else? Like. Now that is a dangerous amp. Yeah, you think? I better not crank. Hmm. And now, thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. All right. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Um, hmm. I better I, not crank it up. No, I can't crank it up anymore. Hey, Biff. Ah, uh, never mind. Yay. <sighs> Should have turned the goals. Alright. Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, <laughs> I can handle it. No, so can you're, I'm the one that helped you to handle it. I guess you can. <laughs> okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Alright <clears throat> then, let's I'll go. keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Now I think he won't say, now, now, Biff, that's Marty's guitar. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Yeah, you will. say. Ooh, nice pick. Not. Ha <laughs> ha. on, Biff. Oh, shit. Ha. Let's get this book. Oh, Doc, where are you? Oh, Doc? There's no way. It can't be Doc.
What? Oh, come on. It is. Doc? Are you in there? Doc? It's, doesn't seem like anybody's getting out. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? Huh. That's peculiar. <gasps> he left a couple of stuff. Let's see. If any of it tells us where he is. Hopefully. And how do they get Einstein here? Hmm. Tape recorder. Order, order. Oh, tape recorder. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Okay, so that's automatic how you got retrieval? it. In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or now. Maybe later. Oh, geez, Marty. It's like... Marty, come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh... Oh jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh great. How am I supposed to find him now? All right, let's look at that like shoe that was down here. Okay, doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Yeah, definitely. Uh Hmm. Hold up. Hold up. Tape recorder. Let's see. Let's get out. Hmm. Well, in here. Let's see. Einy. Do you know what to do? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einy? Oh. Huh? Wait. <gasps> oh. The shoe? Can what you, do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Oh, now you're saying it, Marty. Order, tape recorder. Okay, <coughs> now we're getting somewhere. Here we are. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einy? I don't know. Doc isn't here. It's help one inside, but that doesn't help. Oh, he's at the gate. Let's see. It's locked. Uh, what's this? Buzzer, buzzer. Hmm. Easterkland. Wasn't that like the vice principal's name? Step away from the door! <gasps> now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Oh, jeez. Get along now! Scat! That's like the vice principal's somebody's. Ah! Uh. State your business, child! You're making me miss Merv! Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well, oh, jeez. Uh, who are you? Because I know Strickland. Strickland. You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business. Uh -huh. But I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't ya? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Nice, nice, really nice. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who 